Greetings to all and welcome back to this series of uh, videos on uh, Oracle Apex on how to make it easier and simpler. This time we are going to show you how to create pages in a way that they can fit in easily in uh, an already created existing interface of menus. In this case, we are going to create a page to retrieve the details of a lecturer using which view, the lecturer's detail view. And we are also going to create another page to update the details of a, a lecturer, a lecturer who can update his own details. The one who is currently logged in can update his own details without seeing, even seeing, the details of other lecturers. Very, very good. So we can go back to Apex and start by this page to retrieve the details of lecturers. It will be inside the menu lecturers which is itself inside the admin so i am going back to apex where i assume that you are in this interface your working environment then i can go to app builder inside app builder i will choose the app that we are currently working on app number two and from there I can go to add a new create page. It's here. Once I tap on create page, which one do we want to create now? We want to retrieve. This one is to submit a form. This one is to retrieve data. So we are clicking on interactive report. Once we click on interactive report, will be asked the name of our uh, report. Let us call it to retrieve. We can call it retrieve. And from there, we know this is the current database which view. It was said we want it from the view lecturer's details. So let's just try to type lecturer's details. It is in lecturer's detail. I'm seeing here page number five. Let me put page number five. And we are looking for which view? Lecturer's details. Lecturer's details is this one. Very, very good. Now, the new way of doing things is by clicking on navigation once you click on navigation you scroll remember we used to remove the breadcrumb manually the breadcrumb was showing a repetition of the titles on the form so we can remove it here once that is done we can also choose the entry on the menus by clicking on the right parent navigation menu entry, let us select. And this is where you can see all the menus that we created earlier on. Let us try to remind ourselves where do we want it. We want it inside lecturers, itself inside admin. So I'm going to select lecturers inside admin we can now go to lecturers inside admin and from there we'll go to the next page he's saying we did not put the page number oh this page already exists so i think we can go to page six is it the correct one let us try i think the rest is fine is it the correct page is it page number six is turning is turning 
it's still turning I think it's going to create the right page it's still turning okay so once we are here I think we are in position to look at the columns that we wanted we wanted the lecturer's detail the title the full name the gender the office number and so on so if we run it we should be able to see the lecturer's detail yes if i'm a lecturer i'm a student i go to admin and i want the courses no it's not what we are looking for we go to lecturers and we want to retrieve the lecturer's detail here give us this space so far there is no data now we can close this and go back to the second page that we wanted to create we wanted to create a page inside the lecturer's menu that has a sub menu called lecturers and inside here we want to create another page where a lecturer can edit or update his own details from the table lecturer using which a view login lecture staff view so let's go and create this page we will try to create it now we go and create the page we go back to application detail now from here we create the page and we choose this time we want to update this is to submit uh, details for creation this is to list or retrieve and this is to update or edit now at this level we wanted to edit the details of a, a lecturer and i think it should be page nine i'm not sure if it's the correct one but we'll see it at this stage we are choosing which table they say they want to update from the lecturer's table so i can now choose from the lecturer's table is so what we want to update and we want it to be able to be edit edited and navigation remember scrolling down remove the breadcrumb and as we navigate we, we said we wanted it to be inside lecturers itself inside lectures so i am going back to navigate and look for this is admin this is lecture inside lecturer so this is the right one from here i can now go to the next phase very very good it has been created what is the key this is the key from that table i can now go to create the page the page is being created you can see it turning the page is being created it is still turning a few more seconds now it should stop turning and it should show us that the page has been created yes the page has been created if you look at the columns that can be modified you have a, a lid a title and so on now we need to put a condition that will tell to the editor you can only edit yours so let's go to edit and you'll see a where clause in the where clause we have to say that 
the person ID is in now we are going to put a select close select person ID from and now we need to take the name of the view where we can only see the person ID of the staff lecturer who is currently logged in. So we are going to paste. If we haven't finished, so he's not happy. We are going to paste it. And from here, person ID in select person ID from, we should be able to save it and uh, run it. If we run our data page, we are here and you can see it has been displayed. The person will be able to update his title, his office number and or person ID. Okay, let us go and hide the person ID. So I'm going back there and say the person ID, I'm clicking on it. Then go to the type and from there I can go to hide it. What is my person ID? It's hidden. Now that it's hidden, you can see it here. It is hidden. I can save it. After saving it, run it. Once I run it, you'll see that the person ID is no more there. This lecturer can update or change the title or the office number only. This allows you to hide some data and sometimes to make sure that only the person who is logged in can have access to it. We thank you.